Welcome to Spice Candies. This is the announcement I've been waiting to tell you guys for such a long time and I do apologize for the huge delay. With the holidays I never managed to get to candy making. Really literally a month plus I haven't made any candies and then I was busy at work but enough excuses. Let's get started with what I wanted to say. If you noticed I just uploaded several videos all together and this is a partial wrap of the chocolate series. Now the chocolate series uh, is has been a really fun but I can literally go on and on and on for days with that because there are so many variations and so much fun and we never got to toffee and other things we can do with chocolate. So we'll get to those if you want to. But let me say a few things I wanted to say. First of all Thank you guys for being there for me, sticking around. One thing. Second thing, I wanted to discuss my presentation mode because I wanted to say this does save me a huge amount of time. This allows me to make more videos, uh, in theory, if God slash wife slash kids allow. Uh, <laughs> not always they do allow. <laughs> so, so they'll have to bear with me. I do apologize, but I, I'm definitely keen on doing more and more videos and, and getting more data out and showing you guys how to make things. It's really, really fun. So I wanted to discuss this platform I'm doing and I'm, I'm doing this really shortened platform. I don't show you all the recipes, the ingredients and so on and so on. If you want a recipe, please do just email me. I'll gladly send you the recipe. But this does cut a lot of time. In the past I usually edited something like three hours to three and a half hours per video. Now I'm doing it in 30 minutes flat. So cutting all the chit chat and quantities and volumes and temperatures and so on does cut a lot of volume and it allows me to give you more content. Now as for the recipes, um, I deleted those from my website. I don't know if you noticed these because it's, it's not for good. I do intend to get those back there. I wanted to make an experiment. How many people do make candies? How many people do want to make candies? Would like the, the recipes? And a few of you guys have asked, and I've been really flattered you have asked for these, so I was really, really happy you cooperated and, and we asked for the recipes and so on. So, and of course I gave them away, and I'm glad to do those. So uh, any recipe I have, you can ask for it. I have well over 100 candy recipes, so please just ask. So we discussed recipes and I wanted to discuss the time edit sorry it's a bit hard to write when you're hugging camera <laughs> so one thing I really really want to discuss is uh, cooperation I really want you guys to cooperate so I'm thinking of two ways to do that. One, I'm going to keep this series sort of thing. As soon as I end the series I'll make a raffle. From that series, so for example we just did a chocolate series, a hard candy chocolate series. So I can make four gifts for you guys. So all you have to do is right below tell me the kind of candy you like from this chocolate series. And if you win, and I'll do a random raffle and uh, show you the results obviously online. Whoever wins, just send me your email, send me your details, address and so on. I'll send you a batch. I'll be happy to do that. So that's one thing. And second thing, I wanted your help with what next? Oops. So what's next? Uh, what will we do? Um, I've been thinking of citrus candies and not just plain citrus. Uh, we'll do also plain citrus. We'll make some complex citrus like cinnamon and oranges and maybe uh, spices and, uh, and uh, citrus candies. It's going to be fun. I really like these so I think you'll love these too. But if you, if you have a series you want me to make, if you have a theme you have an idea about, please do write a line. You can write down in my website, you can write down in my, um, there's a blog there, you can write down over here, just below. 
and you can write down anywhere you want. I'll uh, where, whenever you guys communicate with me, I'll try to uh, try to respond as uh, soon as possible. I do tend to miss Facebook messages. I'm really not getting there. It's not my theme. I'm uh, getting seriously into Instagram, and you can definitely email me. You have my email, and it's Sara Strudel spicecandies.com email me anytime so please if you have ideas let me know well I'm, I'm thinking I'm, I'm mostly done with the list so it's up to you guys pick a pencil <laughs> type a keyboard and tell me what you want to see what you want to do then I'm thinking of making gummy bears by the way I've been working for quite some time on natural, well, huh, as much as possible, gummy bears. Meaning I'm using just jam, natural jam, no sugar added, no sugar additives, nothing. Just jam from fruits, which is 100% uh, natural, uh, made only from fruits, and some gelatin. And it works just wonderfully. So if you guys are interested, thumbs up, let me know. Marshmallow. I've been really, really wanting to for years to try and make some marshmallow, and I've been thinking of all sort of mar marshmallows. So or cinnamon marshmallow sounds really good to me. I don't know about you, but it sounds great. Gummy bears. Are you guys interested? Also, good question. Marshmallows. Hey, sorry, I know it sucks, but I wanted some color in that too. <laughs> so that's the main reason. Ah, one more thing I wanted to talk about is. Epoxy! Well, I do really hate um, these clear plastic molds. I don't think they're healthy, I don't think they're good for you and so on. Uh, there's been something I wanted to do. It's a massive project. It's going to be a fun project too. And it's going to make candies in 3D, uh, lollipops to be more accurate. And I'm going to do that with epoxy and silicone. And the silicone I bought, the epoxy will make the initial mold, the, the primary mold, or the male mold, and the female mold that will accept the candies later on, will be silicone. And I did buy it's <laughs> not exactly cheap, but I did buy both epoxy and silicone in large quantities. I mean, 1.5 kilograms or uh, roughly 3 pounds each. The silicone is food grade and it is thermally stable to 200 degrees Celsius, which is perfect because it covers candies, hard candies. Not to mention toffee or whatever else you want to make in that shape and form. So. Uh, I did order some balls so we can make ball lollipops. I think it's going to be really, really nice. So these are the future projects. Do let me know what you think right below. Tell me what you want. Maybe you have some ideas I'm not thinking of or will ever think of and, and you want to say, you know, do this, do that. Sure, I'd love to hear and we'll do those. Now that's it. So. Thanks for watching. Yeah, I know it sucks. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And I'll see you another day. Have a sweet day.